Jeff the Fireman here with League of Fire. Today in the studio, we'll have James Scott Bonnet Nixon, who's one of the finalists uh, in the upcoming third European belt match in Rieti, Italy. So he's coming in to join us. He's going to take on the Devil's, uh, Devil's Heat Popcorn. Oh, wait, I just lost him. He might be back here now. Well, he won't be joining us here. I think he's just been clicked from the studio, so I'll wait for him to join back. But while I'm here, I'll talk about Rieti and what's happening in the upcoming belt match. So there's quite a few. It's going to happen in September. There's a few of them going there. I'm going to make sure that he's all set up. Hey, we <coughs> Evening, Jack. Good, Good. Good. We were just talking about the belt match, or I was just talking about the belt match in Italy and how you're going to, you're one of the few finalists going and attending. There's a few others. And Ooh. the Devil's Heat popcorn, which you're taking on today. So let's get a disclaimer out of you. I get a wee disclaimer out of you. Uh, I, James Nixon, the Scots Bonnet, I'm over 18 years of age, sound mind. I've read and understood the hot sauce pod at the disclaimer on the Leo Fire website. And some may accept that Leo Fire, their suppliers, manufacturers will, under no circumstances, be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury or damage arising from you consuming this product. I'm not rules thereof, acknowledging a grounds to this fact. But question. Excellent. Well, these are just a bowl of popcorn. You can open it up, put it, yeah. in, right. put it in the vessel that you're using, and then it's a simple eat it. Start whenever you want. Eat it. There's no speed challenge. It's just an eat. And then when you're all, that's it. Open mouth. Give me the open mouth R, and uh, I'll stop. We'll start a three-minute uh, after burn. They just smell like a bag that's, of coffee popcorn. Those are delicious. You wait, man. That's so good. It's they're like a, they're like snacks. It's, it's, it reminds me of just I uh, just a wee bag of popcorn, man. No, the ones for the um, like the cinema. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because like, they're dead expensive and they're crap. But it's like a proper wee bag of popcorn, man. I'm just sticking one there. Could have probably just gubbed it all through the bag, actually. Mm. Um, I smell it, I mean, just smell that. Aye. Taste it. They, they taste amazing. Oh. <clears throat> That's so good. Now, the other ones, the 2.0, you know, they're definitely different. When you open them up, they're like bright red. So, you know, they are a lot hotter. But these ones are, these still pack a pretty good kick. The powder is hitting right straight at the back of the tonsil straight away every time. But it's not hot. It just it hits you, so it makes you go that way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's a good faker out. <laughs> These are brilliant. These are so good. I'm saying bag after bag, actually, watching a good film. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I think Simon, Stefan, and Jem, they tried eating the, you know, the big bags of these. Um, Those are like, I think, I think they're five times the amount. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're big bone, they're I know, it's like eating five, five bags. Much. And the, the other ones, the 2.0s, they're really hot. They are really hot. These ones aren't bad, but even still, five bags of these, it's, it's a fair amount of consumption. Mm -hmm. And there was a speed challenge as well, wasn't it? I think so. But... Mm. Good little heat, like the scorpion powders now attacking the front of the tongue. Yeah, well, in a couple of weeks, you'll be eating a lot hotter than that, for sure. <laughs> <coughs> Don't know I've laid myself out for, man. <laughs> well, are, are you looking forward to going to Italy? I'm sure you are, yeah? Ah, uh, can't wait. Can't wait. Um, uh, not, I've not been out of Scotland for 20 years, and I've saved up. I worked hard. I'm going to go and enjoy the experience of the, the whole festival. Well, it's it's unbelievable. I know you've been to some festivals, but once you hit a pepper festival in Italy, it's a completely different thing, man. It's like, right, well, it's like I think it's, it's on for five days. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. It's and it's not like just a, a couple of hundred people. It's like insane. Those the those whole festivals, time. yeah, they're mm. they're super super huge. It's like um, it's like Mexico having that Day of the Dead type festival. Do you know what I mean? And it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Crazy. It's going to be mental. It's just maybe. It is. So it's a one. Really understand I say. 
And then you've got a holiday thrown into it, you know, because you get to go around Rome. Rome's not too far from Rieti. You've got all the sights to see there. I will get there on the Thursday. So I'm going to spend the Thursday there, and then I'm going to the Coliseum on the Friday morning. And then I'll travel over to Rieti on the Friday. Yeah, I'm sure you're, probably, you're going to fly into Ciampino, right, more than likely. Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, Flume, uh, or Fiumicino, Fiumicino. Yeah. There's a couple of them, yeah. And then get the train out into the centre. That's it, yeah. Right. And I'm quite close to the centre of my hotel, so for that one night, and then I'm quite close in the as well. You're going to have to do a vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie gets lost the Scots bonnet goes to Italy, you know. <laughs> Gonna get lost. <laughs> no, I think it, I think it'd be great. It, I think it'd be great. It'd be a great. I'd watch it. I know I would. I'd get a laugh, man. I don't put anything on my YouTube, but that one would probably get a million straight away. That brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be some Italians going. I think he's speaking English, but I'm just not sure. <laughs> But as I recall, there's a lot of uh, Italian influence in Scotland. Yeah, especially where I'm from as well. Like Nardini's is a big famous ice cream in Scotland. Um, and there they are. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it goes back to World War II. So a lot of the Italian prisoners were basically, I want you know, were kept up in Scotland. And then once the war ended, a fair amount of them are like, you know what? I'm kind of happy up here, and I don't want to go back to Italy. Yeah, so they ended up settling, and they ended up staying. And that's a. Yeah, I remember that's... when I lived in England, seeing a whole story on it. Yeah, big fact. There's a lot of big families in that around about my area, then um, where I was born and stuff. Um, there's a lot, but like, people of Italian. You know what I mean, I family are Italian, aren't they? Well, you've got no sweat going. Just it looks like you're just enjoying these things. Um, um there is a wee bun right in the, the tip of my tongue in the back of the throat where the powder keeps hitting me. Yeah, I think a big bag. They, they want the same hat. I'd struggle with that because of the amount. Yeah, there's no <laughs> drinking, and it is. It's like uh, at least five or six of the smaller bags. I think when I estimated. And of course, that would be one heck of a challenge, but it would be really hard to put like a, a point. You know, if it was going to be a point, you know, it would be, be hard to put like a, a good point. Uh, yeah, because he was trying to do it fast as well. He was trying to do a speed time on it, same way Stefan and uh, Simon, but with the hotter bag. Well, I think that's what we were looking at originally to see, you know, whether it was going to be a speed, you know, because again, it was just an experimental thing to see if a speed would be possible but realistically now looking at it if you're going to do that size they'd either have to half it down for speed yeah. or leave it full and then do longevity you know to see who uh, can endure the whole lot because because you can just sit and enjoy these these are brilliant so yeah. if, you, if you just sat with a big bag and took your time you'd be all right but when you're rushing and then all of a sudden you're getting that pure intense mouth burn for a while you yeah, so yeah. Like, oh, i can't put any more on yeah you watching jam and gets to where we go five, six, seven eight minutes and you're like I don't want to finish that. My time's rubbish. Exactly. <laughs> no, I enjoy them. I will. I know it's like a nice little snack. Ah. And we have a three minute oh, after yeah. burning on this. Yeah. But just straight away, the minute you open them, it just smells like childhood popcorn that you buy for the shop. And you're like, ah. Oh. Can't remember the name of them you used to get for one of it, Baba. But nice. I think, yeah, here they have, uh, or oh, the Cracker Jacks, is, as I remember them. I think mm. that's what they were. They were the small little boxes. But I need to find a packet the next time we're in my wee shop and then go out. This is the ones. <laughs> <laughs> Me, popcorns, I don't like popcorn that much because it gets stuck in my teeth, you know, like. You gotta go brush your teeth afterwards because otherwise you end up forever pulling like pieces out. All right. You sit there later and pick a wee bit and it's like And especially with these, you know, you'll do a little pop every now and then and it's oh look at that. The burn has just subsided and there's like another little piece there waiting for you. That really takes a challenge. Um I um, for beginners and stuff like that, what it's probably kind of designed for. Uh, uh, they'll struggle, but folk can get through it, do you know what I mean? 
Oh, for sure. I'm jealous of everyone going to Italy too. I wanted to go, but I know I can't because uh, I have too much family. There, so. <laughs> Even if I did go there, be like, why are you in the AT? Why are you not visiting us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, of course, why are you on your own? Why don't you have the family with you? So it's like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'll have to try it one day when I can bring the whole family over. That, I can't that. wait because there's going to be so amazing uh, folk that I've been speaking to for the last four years online, do you know what I mean, that I haven't met yet because there's a couple of folk I've met, like Rick, I've met Rick um, and Joe. We had a good time with Tony and that in, in Newcastle with the time burner last year or the year before. Um, but uh, meeting Edda, Shahina, Paul, do you know what I mean, we, uh, Rick, Nina Toro and Gianfranco and uh, it's just going to be amazing. And it's going to be else, it's going to be so much fun, mate. You don't even know. It's going to be so much fun. Really, the the the, the, the most fun is the hanging out, even afterwards. Uh, and it's just fellowship, you know, because these are all the people, like you were saying, that you've been talking to for years and everything. And you know, I couldn't believe it when I when I met Edda. I thought ah, the only way I'm going to meet Edda is if I go to Europe. And here she came over to. You know, I, I actually filmed over the challenge, yeah. doing a challenge with Annie, and that was pretty, yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, excellent. And it's like I think on the Saturday night, it's at nine o'clock. That's like that's like pay per view prime time in U in UK on a Saturday. Do you know what I mean? It's like what? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big prime yes. day festival. It's going to be so big compared to just going to a wee one day thing. Um, it's going to be crazy. Um, and the hype for it, and just like that Fiera. Um, thingy place like online there you go <laughs> congratulations you've completed the devil's popcorn it looks like it's just going to be a massive massive weekend of fun it is so i would make sure you keep all of your energy because the night time is the fun time you know yeah. you get, you're getting to hang out and you realize you're going to a festival you're not really working it so you're just enjoying it and yeah. say like the festivals here in america where they're <coughs> confined to places or even in england you know they're confined to a park you'll find that in reality it's like almost everywhere <laughs> so every, everywhere you go it's pepperoncino i should see if we got anyone commenting a bit oh let's see oh yeah annie Annie Boy has been commenting. I didn't even notice you, Annie. Sorry, we were. I didn't have. <laughs> <Gabriel>. <laughs> but yeah, you wanted to go too, Annie. You've been all over the world. You're flying everywhere. You went to England, Hawaii. You can go back to Italy. She was up in Scotland as well. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to knock you back to the green room, sir. Sign us off here. Thanks very much. Cheers very much, sir. Good luck again in Rieti. I hope to see you before you go. And then uh, definitely looking forward to your travel pics. <laughs> and all everybody else's travel pics. I think they're going to be great. That's going to be fantastic. Cheers. All right. Well, as you guys saw there, the bonnet just knocked that thing out like it was nothing. And, I mean, you, you get to see, you'll get to see him here on the 2nd of September in Italy. And uh, we'll probably have it live, hopefully. This has been Jeff the Fireman with League of Fire. We should be back soon. Robert Davis later on today.